हेलो एंड वेलकम बैक ऑन माय यूट्यूब चैनल पार दोषी लर्निंग बाय डूइंग सो इन दिस वीडियो आफ्टर अ लॉन्ग टाइम आई एम मेकिंग अ वीडियो ऑन अ टॉपिक दैट आई लाइक वेरी मच लाइक इट इज वन ऑफ माय फेवरेट यू कैन से सेट ऑफ एक्टिविटीज इन यू आई पाथ एंड ऑन माई चैनल आई हैव मेड अ लॉट ऑफ वीडियोज ऑन इट एज वेल सो इट इज अबाउट यू आई पाथ फॉर्म्स नाउ इन दिस वीडियो वॉट आई एम गोइंग टू डू इज show the solution for one of the query that i recently answered on ui path forum with respect to ui path apps so let's first see what the question is so the question is reset the data grid on a button click in ui path forms so now we are uh, happy coding that is saloni kumar is asking a question that i am working on ui path forms where the requirement is to click on form and it should delete every data from the forms data grid and text boxes i cannot use reset button here because i need to perform some activity first by clicking on the same button and then same button should reset whole form of data any suggestions or work around for this so there was a lot of uh, discussions happening in this and she tried multiple methods but it did not work also she was able to reset the text fields is what is mentioned in the below discussion i'll put this link in the description as well yeah so she was able to reset the text fields but how about resetting the data grid so let's do that so i'm going to you open ui path studio i have already sent the solution for that let me open this all right so to work with ui path studio ui path forms you have to install ui path form activities now let me show first what a data grid is so data grid is one of the component in ui path forms which you can use you have to just drag and drop data grid right and after that whatever the number of columns are that you want you have to pass them over here so i have two columns that is name and a number that is age now in data grid whatever data table you will pass you have to make sure the columns that you have in data table or the ones that you want to display should be the same column names over here so first let's see over here so in field key you have to keep this as name and in age as well you have to keep this as age so these are my column names of my data table we'll see that and here the field key as you know like in the basics of ui path forms what i have in my previous videos field key is one of the important elements so i have saved this field key as data grid and that's it so now what i want to do is once the data is passed over here i want to reset it on click of submit so let me debug the file so now if you see here there is already some data existing john mary that is coming from my data table if i click submit this particular data got reset so there is no data and the data grid is empty so this is what our requirement is as well so now i have built a data table that is showed stored in dt data with name and with age so these are the column names so now this same column names should be over there as well to pass the data you have to create an input argument data grid is the field key that i said we had saved in or out data table and dt data so this is something that we have to pass and you have to keep it as in at out direction because you want to later reset it after that you have to use invoke code select the language as c sharp and what you have to do is you have to clear it so we will use the clear method that is dt data table is what my argument is over here so let me click here and it is there in edit code what i did is i just used a simple c sharp code dt data table dot clear so now what clear does is it will remove all the data right but it will keep the structure so that is what we want right when we say we want to reset the data we want to remove the data but keep the structure as well so this is something that i had suggested now before this i had suggested one more solution that was this that why don't you just do dt data 
and here you do nothing. But now in what happens in this case is it removes the structure as well. It makes it null. Like there is no data, no structure available. So that is the reason this does not work when you want to retake the data. So what we will do is we'll use invoke code. DT data table dot clear is what my argument is over here as I showed in and out. And you will just do this. Select the languages C sharp. And with this, you can reset the data grid on click of a button in UiPath form. So after a lot of discussions with respect to this, uh, I'd suggested to use invoke code, but she did not have idea about it. And then finally I shared the workflow and it worked. So this is how you can reset the data grid on button click in UiPath forms. Thank you for watching the complete video. Also, there are different use cases and different basics of UiPath forms videos that I've built previously or uploaded previously. You can check them out. I'll add the playlist link in the description. Thank you for watching the complete video. See you in the next video. And if you have any issues, particularly with respect to UiPath forms and you are trying to implement something, be it in Action Center as well, please feel free to comment your queries in the comment section and I'll try to make a video on that if you can share me the demo data or the dummy data with respect to that. So thank you for watching the video.